this video we'll be discussing revegetation techniques. Planting is often required on highly disturbed or modified sites where site resilience is low and natural regeneration is unlikely to lead to the recovery of the site. These areas often require active revegetation through planting to recover habitat values. This video also forms the first part of two videos on revegetation. In the second video we'll discuss mulching and also tree guarding techniques. When selecting your plants, refer to a local species selection guide or a restoration manual. Choose plants that are appropriate for the conditions on your site and also suitable for the target vegetation community you're trying to recreate. Planting material comes in many sizes. While tube stock is common, advanced plants may be suitable on a site with initial harsh growing conditions or for species that are slow growing. When selecting your plants, also make sure that they have a well-developed root system. The root system should be just developed enough that it holds the soil together when the plant is removed from the pot. Plant spacing has a large impact on the ongoing maintenance of your site. For riparian and rainforest communities, close spacings of between 1.5 to 2 metres between trees will help lead to a closed canopy earlier and this closed canopy will help outcompete other weeds, lead to better natural regeneration rates and require less ongoing maintenance. Before planting, you'll have to clear away any of the grass from each of your planting sites. You can do this with a mattock, or you may choose to spray the site four to six weeks in advance, allowing the grass to break down and form a natural mulch around each of your plants. When selecting a shovel, choose one with a narrow nose. This will lead to less soil disturbance and will allow you to dig a hole that's only three to four times the size of the pot. Loosen up the soil, dunk the pot into a bucket of water, remove the pot and press firmly into the hole. Make sure that none of the potting mix is exposed as this will lead to the plant drying out rapidly. Firm the soil up around the base of the plant Form a slight depression and water deeply. For information on mulching and tree guards, watch our next video.